Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. You're here because of an Ulta haul. And I'm here and happy to share with you what I actually received. Um, I guess not so much received. I bought this, uh, these items. I received an Ulta gift card for Christmas and decided to do some shopping. As far as what we've got, we've got some tools that's going to be used for makeup application. We've got some makeup as well as we got some... Um, some skincare. So I just kind of want to share with you what I received. Um, and I think these are pretty, pretty good items kind of looking at it right off hand. Number one for the pricing and the deals, but also, um, for the brands that I like. So we'll go ahead and get uh, right into the video. So first we're going to start with the makeup tools and the first thing that I was they got that I got that I wanted to try out um, to see if it actually works. I mean I've seen a couple of people test out different types of um, this tool um, but I wanted to see for myself to see if it actually worked. And this is the Ulta Beauty brand Beauty Smarts Makeup Removing Towels and the packaging looks like this. And basically it says here, no cleanser needed, machine wash before use, okay? Saturate cloth in warm water, and you basically rub it over your eyes and your face. And so you're basically able to use this multiple times, um, of course, because you're able to wash it rather than using a makeup uh, wipe and throwing it away, or a cotton ball or a cotton pad, something like that. So I just wanted to see, you got two here. Um, and I just want to see if it will work. So that's something I'm going to go ahead and try out. Um, and we shall see. The next tool that I wanted to pick up, um, because I think it's, it might be a drugstore maven. And I'll link her channel down below. I believe she's the one that kind of introduced me to the, it's again, Ulta Beauty brand. But I didn't realize that they had kind of the duo set, or at least the pink one. Um, it's something that I think she used. Um, if I can find her, I can find your channel for sure. If I can find a video where she talks about this, I'll link that as well. Um, otherwise I'll just link her channel because she does a lot of drugstore items. She's like just drugstore as far as her channel. Um, so I'm excited to try these. This kind of looks like a beauty blender dupe as far as it being, um, pink and, uh, kind of egg like, and this looks like it's, uh, kind of not like a dupe, but just like another version of the real techniques. So right off hand, taking it, it seems pretty squishy and pretty bouncy. Um, I'll definitely have to see what it feels like when it's dampened, but it feels like with, with it being dampened, it feels a little bit hard right now just because it is dry, but I do feel like it might work very well when it's dampened. So we'll definitely be trying that out. You can never go wrong with having, you know, backup of sponges and just making sure you have enough, pro you know, tools. Um, and this, it just seems a little bit smaller, just in general, than the um, Real Techniques one. But again, it's very similar because you've got the flat edge right here. You've got the pointy edge right here. So, again, definitely looking out trying that. The next tool that I got was... Um, actually very cheap so I was like I had to get it because like why not um of course it's from elf this is the mascara and shadow shield and so you've got kind of a silicone shield right here and it actually shows on the back where you would place it on the bottom and you place it on the top and so I'm actually really excited for this because I feel like this is something this is something that you could use with regards to well, number one, eyeshadow and um, mascara. Sometimes with one of some of those more wet formulas, you'd be able to just stick it here or yeah, something like that um, and kind of, you know, shield it that way. It doesn't ruin your eyeshadow. So I'm excited to try this and see if it's worth the $3. The last tool that I got, I'm actually really excited for. And I feel like this is really going to help me to use false lashes a lot more or especially more on like a special occasion and not just mascara 
it's a lash applicator. Um, so the artificial lash placement tool and it's a metal actually. Okay, so after you take it out of the packaging that's sitting in there, um, it does have, it looks like a little just, I don't know if you would keep it all the time while it's a little traveling. Maybe, I mean, to help keep it closed, but you have the lash tool. And so with that, I think you use it like this to press the lashes together with your natural lash line. So I'm actually really excited for that. Um, I feel like it's really going to help because I feel like with tweezers, I've tried using tweezers and it just doesn't work for me. It's too pointy, but with this, you're going to have a lot more surface area. So you'll be able to kind of, you know, press it again, press it together. So I'm actually really excited for that one. The item next that I'm going to show you is we're going to kind of jump into makeup. And this is a highlighter that has been being raved about um, on, on YouTube, of course. Um, and this is the first time I'm actually trying it out. I don't know if it'll be too gold or not. And you're probably just like, come on, let us know what it is already. Um, it's the Master Chrome by Maybelline. This is in the shade Molten Gold. So it looks like this. Oh, wow. That's nice. So let me go ahead. Literally, that was one time. Let me let me show you like this. Oh. That is it. So I don't know. I would imagine. Oh, wow. That's so nice. Oh, man. I don't know if that would be too dark for me, but maybe with the light hand or a mixture with another um, highlighter. But it is very smooth. Um, I'm really excited. Oops, excuse me. That's really reflective. Anyway, I'm, I'm excited to try this. Um, it may not be for winter necessarily. I don't really know. But again, maybe a lighter hand or mix in with another highlighter. I think would be great. This actually kind of reminds me of the Becca highlighter that I have. I forget the name of it. We got it in a boxy charm, but it seems to be a little more golden as well this seems to be a little more creamy feeling though um i like it so far the next item we have is a revolution kind of a trio set this is a bronzer highlighter and blush um there's uh no names on it but i thought this would be perfect for me to try out for like travel purposes so i thought that this would be perfect because uh, again i like the items that i have of theirs already um, so far so palette looks like this and of course I didn't bring any makeup wipes I'm kind of just chilling on my couch um, I just thought you know I'd want to sit here kind of in a comfortable spot and just share with you guys so I hope you like it um, but let me see if I can so here's the blush highlight the bronzer and it looks like this so Kind of light to the touch but I, to be honest i think it'll be good um as far as building it up i like a bronzer and blush that i can build up rather than kind of have it bam and you know not able to kind of blend it out so i think that'll be nice they do feel very uh creamy and smooth so again i think this will be a nice one plus like i said for travel i think it'll be perfect the next item is the Ulta Beauty Ultra Slim Brow Pencil in Soft Brown. And the packaging looks like this. It's very, very thin. Um, so I do like that right off the bat. Let me take the plastic off. On one end, you have a spoolie. And on this end, you have a very thin. Oh, that's very thin. Let me kind of. taking a little bit to kind of warm it up on the hand um, that's where it is right there um, it's not as waxy or cream well probably it's more waxy I don't know the difference and I'm trying to learn that still but it's not as creamy I feel like I need to press a little bit to actually get it but it may be very different for um, the brows so we'll definitely try that out we'll see if this is sort of comparable to the Mac pencil that I have I think it's in spiked um, I know that one is, of course, I think it's like $18 or $19. I 
This was, I think, eight or nine. So if I can try and cut that in half, um, but we'll see. We'll try that out. The next item is Master Prime Primer Base Hydrate and Smooth. And this is by Maybelline. So it looks like this. And I do have one that's Blur and Illuminate. Um, but I wanted to try this one to see if I feel like it actually hydrates my skin, but also smooths it out. But I feel like I don't have anything that really kind of packs in with the pores when I want to put on foundation and whatnot. Um, I feel like you can still see, you know, the little holes, I guess pores or holes, um, you know, in the face. But um, I don't know if this is new or if this is old. Um, it doesn't say new, of course, so it's probably not new. But I thought it was something I'd want to, you know, definitely try out. So there's that. The next two sets um, that I'm going to show you here are from e.l.f. And they're the, I guess they'd be holiday sets and they were kind of on sale. So we've got two. We've got a lip one here and we've got an eyeshadow one here. So the first one, and I'm going to kind of go over the lips first. This first one is in Praline. And this one's actually the one that I have on my lips right now. But it's like a brownie nude. Um, and I don't, of course, like I said, I don't have any, um, wipes, but as far as this formula, I have had a pencil like this before and probably I still have it because I haven't gone on, uh, run out of it yet, but this is matte for matte. It's a matte lip. Um, and I know I didn't do such a great job, but I think it's matte. It's very comfortable and you can see it right there. It's a little bit transfer uh, it transfers just a little bit but to be honest I feel like it would last if I actually did a really good job put a maybe a lip line underneath it would last a long time so you've got this color again it's like a brownie nude we've got this one that's called rich red it's like a berry red look there kind of looks like a crayon So it looks like this. So it looks like your typical red, but more of a berry. Well, so I guess it's not typical. Um, you've got here berry sorbet. This one's more like a berry, like a blueberry, raspberry type of color. Magenta. That's maybe what I'm looking for. More of a magenta color. And then you have wine, which again is all, they're all very similar. Aside from that first one I showed you, they're all very, very similar. If you look there. And so this one in wine is a little bit more, well, you know, it's a little less, it's less, uh, I don't know what I would call it, but there is a slight difference to it. Um, it looks like this. I think they'll be nice. I like the packaging. It's black, it's matte, it's sleek, um, and I feel like it's perfect for um, for travel, throw in your purse, and you're good to go. The next one, as I was briefly mentioning to you, is the Desk to Dinner Eyeshadow Trio. It does come with an extra eyeshadow brush as well, which I feel like would be really good. I mean, you can't, again, you can't go along with extra brushes because you're always going to need them or you're going to rotate or you're going to use, you know, maybe two different colors on your lid. And so you'd want to have the multiple brushes to be able to do that. So we've got an e.l.f. eyeshadow brush right here. That's going to be able to help you to pack it on the lid. And you've got three duo double shadows, duo shadows. I'm not going to lie. I think I might have these. I don't know why I didn't check my thing, but I will certainly update either, either the description box or the um maybe the screen right here if i have it but this is the first one i'm not going to swatch any of them in case i do have them then i'll go ahead and maybe look at giving them away um this is uh there's no names on the actual duo just numbers you got a purple and you got like a matte kind of cream color right there. Ooh. All right, good. 
Now this is different actually. The last set I think I got last year, my mom, my mom actually got for me. Um, and this actually was not in there. It's more of a, so that's like a champagne-y type of color for your lid. That's, looks like a plum, lavender type of color with a little bit of a gray undertone for probably your crease, um, something like that. So I'm going to check my collection, of course, because they look very, very different, but we shall see. The next item that I have is the Clinique Take the Day Off. And packaging looks like this. I have a small one that my sister had bought for me. Um, it's, I don't know what the ounces are, but I use that and, um, and I'll do kind of a little bit of a review or maybe another video on kind of the makeup removers that I've been using or that I've tried out and which ones I like compared to the ones like I've only tried a couple of different ones but of those ones I know like what I, I'm liking so far um, and this is one of them just briefly to mention that it doesn't burn my eyes um, when I you know take a couple you know little scoops or whatever um, and rub it all over my face and it really does take the eye makeup off like like that like fast and uh, easily too. I'm telling you, it's nice. I mean, I guess the only thing is that it is in kind of a, a dip jar, so you do have to stick your fingers in. I may try and find a little spatula or something that I can use for this. That way I'm not transferring bacteria. Um, you know, although I wash my hands anyway, but you can never be too, you know, sure. And actually, because I had gotten this, there was actually a deal where it was like a gift with purchase. And so this I think was like 20, 20 something dollars, um, 29 maybe. And with the purchase of I think 29 or more, you actually were able to get a lip color. So this is, it's showing here, packaging looks like this, just a star, so cheer. And looks like it's in the color cherry pop. And so, I was like excited about it because I'm all about trying to find, you know, like I said, the deals. And I knew that I had tried a sample size of the Clinique to take the day off. So I knew that I had wanted to try it again or, you know, continue to buy it. So packaging looks like this. It looks really cute, actually. And full size lipstick. So that's nice. Very, very nice. It actually says here it's a lip color and primer. So I don't know, maybe it just is supposed to be good without any sort of lip liner or something, but that's a really nice color. Now the last three items are from e.l.f. and they're more of the skincare type of items. Um, I did want to try out some more different products because um, I read somewhere that it should, as far as your uh, cleansing routine, you should cleanse your face, you should do a toner, you should do then next a, I think, facial serum. So let me go over that. I have a hydrating serum. Um, this is says hydrating serum with purified water, aloe, and green tea. And it looks like this. It says, add this silky serum to your skin routine to help lock in moisture to reduce the look of fine lines. For glowy, glowing, healthy looking skin, this is infused with purified water and nourishing jojoba, all of that. So after cleansing, you massage a small amount into your hands and you apply it to the face and the bottle looks like this I really like these bottles um, it's lightweight but it's heavy enough that it feels you know kind of high-end luxurious um, and I like the matte feel to it um, and I also like that this has the directions but also what it does it says helps lock in moisture to reduce and everything I feel like I have a, an eye cream that doesn't list that, but I'll, and I'll actually check it and see. Um, Cause I know with reason they're able to, I think, keep the prices lower than most is because the packaging is very minimal. Um, but I like it anyway, because I think minimal, like minimal looks is very, it's more sophisticated, it's more clean to me. So I actually like this. Um, and everybody likes pumps. So you can't go wrong with the pump. The next item is the e.l.f. Hydrating Water Essence. The packaging looks like this. Let me get it open for you. 
Now the packaging looks like this. Um, again, I, I really like it. It says here, it's a lightweight water-based lotion that hydrates for healthy glowing skin, glowing looking skin. It says this light watery texture glides onto skin to hydrate, leaving skin feeling refreshed and smooth infused with purified water, coconut water and algae. So yeah, uh, apply, it says here after a cleansing, apply using a cotton pad at fingertips to gently press into the skin starting from the center out. So a lot of these pretty much have the same directions, but I know that with regards to skincare, there are certain routines and certain steps you should take and essences being one of them. I've heard um, good things as far as it is supposed to, like it says here, it's supposed to keep in and lock in the moisture um, and it's supposed to, you know, keep, uh, keep it hydrated. So we'll definitely, you know, try that out. I'm excited for all of these products, of course, because when you buy items, you just excited for it. The last item that I have as far as skincare, and then I actually have one bonus item that I'm going to share with you guys. Um, this is the e.l.f., of course, Nourishing um, Night Cream, purified with, with purified water and shea butter. Packaging here looks like this. And it says here, purified water and essential nutrients help skin rehydrate and refresh skin overnight for glowing healthy looking skin and of course jojoba aloe vitamin e cucumber all of that oh it says orange and lemon in it it says use morning and night after cleansing with your right ring finger gently dab around the under eye outward towards the temple and along the brow bone to illuminate tired eyes i have an eye cream like this so i don't know why this is saying it's focusing on the eye cream I think I would just put this all over anyway as a night cream. This packaging looks like this. Again, the matte kind of feel. Okay. And this actually says, massage a small amount of formula into hands and gently pat all over the face and the neck. So they, this was just saying the eyes, but this is saying all over. So that makes a lot more sense to me. And um, it does have a little bit of uh, a tub here. And you use, you pull this out to cover and you keep it there too, keep it closed. So it pulls it out and everything. Um, the eye cream would be under the eyes. This one I think is definitely for the face and the neck. So we'll definitely be trying that out. What I like about all of this is that these items don't have any parabens, sulfates, or phthalates. Is that how you say it? Not really sure. Um, and I know that with sulfates in your hair, you don't want a, you know, shampoo and conditioner with it in your hair. So, um, I think, oops, sorry. <laughs> I think that with not having sulfates, it's going to be good, you know, for the skin just in general. So I'm really excited to try those items out and get into skincare more and see what works for me. Because again, I have an eye cream now, which I've been using, um, a facial serum, uh, a toner. So I think with that kind of combining it together it's going to help you know keep it moisturized and glowy and everything so the last item actually and it's actually a bag I wanted to share with you there was of course a deal with Ulta and this was all on one trip this wasn't um separate trips or anything so I was getting multiple deals at multiple times um able to use the, the gift card that I received um as a, as a gift the deal that went on was if you had a purchase of an online order of $60 or more, I think, I think it was 60, then you actually get a free um, bag. It has a lot of items inside. I forget the value of the um, bag, but you get a lot in here. And number one, I really like this. It's a little bit plasticky feeling. Um, it doesn't feel like it's going to rip though. Like it's definitely, you know, durable, I think. Um, but I like it too. I don't know. I guess a dual chrome or something you get like the blue purple and pink but you definitely don't get rainbow so it's not like holographic all right so the first thing i'm going to pull out here this is the it confidence in a cream transforming moisturizing super cream anti-aging armor where do you put this at so it says here it's supposed to um moisture the skin restore visible radiance reduce the look of pores discoloration lines and wrinkles 
and improve the look of firmness. And he says you'll uh, see powerful results instantly and more dramatic results over time. Um, I'm not exactly sure where to put this. I guess it's kind of all over. Um, but you've got a little bit of a packet here. I'm not going to take it out and show you because I just want to kind of go through this real quick and see what we've got. Um, but I've heard about this from through some YouTubers and they say they like it. So I'm excited. Next thing we're pulling out here is random. Oh, nice. Okay. We've got Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer eyeshadow primer potion packaging looks like this it kind of reminds me of packaging that you'd get from like an ipsy bag when it's um when it's like a you know packet so it looks like this it's not an actual tube but you have to actually have different colors so you have nude dries invisible you have nude matte you have champagne shimmer and nude which is a color corrects and blurs oh it's a type of skin sorry original eden you got minor sin champagne shimmer but you have anti-aging too so you have a couple different ones and i like that they did that because then you're able to kind of find your shade so we'll check that out next thing we've got here punch pop by benefit oh punchy juicy bright and bold and the packaging looks like this this is a sample size right there actually Okay, I think I just open it like this. Oh, that's nice. Okay. It's a liquid lip color with a pop of color, vitamin E, and shine. That'd be nice. And so the color is pink berry. Kind of going with this color here. It's my colors. Next thing we've got Mon Paris YSL Yves Saint Laurent. Looks like it's a perfume sample. And I'll see when I am editing this. If I can find the notes, if it's not listed here, it probably should be listed here, but let's uh, see. It says here, enlightened by the sensuality of white musks and by an acidulated black barrier cord radiates with an airy peony, a loss of senses and weightlessness, black barrier cord, and a couple other things, but it's a little packet like this. Or a little bit of a tube. I like that. I don't know what it is about it. It's sort of, it's a similar scent that, to be honest, I think my mom smells like. Something very similar. And I like that a lot. The next item, sample size, is Philosophy Amazing Grace Fragrance. Okay. Nice. And it looks like this. And I feel like I have to get my nostrils clear of the last scent. Um, that one was a spritz bottle, like a spray bottle. This one, I'm not even really sure. I think I have to try and twist it up or pop it up. Oh, pop. Ooh, I like that too. I like that too. This doesn't show anything about... Oh, fragrance. Oh, no, that's it. <laughs> um, I'll see what I can find as far as notes, if I can find anything, and I'll list it on the screen or list it in the description box for you. This next big thing I got is a makeup artist's best friends. Oh, okay, this is a sample size. That's nice. I can travel with this. This is of the Take the Day Off uh, cleansing balm. I already know I like that, so that's perfect. Next thing we've got, Clini Ooh, Clinique for Men, a rush of hydration. The Maximum Hydrator Activated Water Gel Concentrate. Cool. I'll give that to my boyfriend. See if he wants to try it out. It's supposed to give him moisture, oil control, reduce anti-aging, dark spots, and more. Protecting against that, too. Um, it's applicable to him. We'll see if he can try that. Next thing we got is Shiseido Ibuki Sleeping Ooh Beauty Sleeping Mask. Looks like this. For skin that looks well rested, even if you're not, it's an overnight leave-on gel mask that contains uh, condensed vitamin capsules. Okay. 
my only issue is that there's so many different like face masks, face creams, and this and that, and it's like when you're introducing different things, do you still do your normal routine and then add in this one kind of as a last or middle step? That's where I get confused sometimes. Oh, so what just popped up right now for me is actually a little coupon, 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 however you want to say it, Ulta Beauty Collection, $5 off any Ulta Beauty Collection purchase of $15 or more. I feel like those always come in handy, so definitely excited for that. Cool. The next one is Chlorine Leave-In Cream with Mango Butter Dry Hair. Nourishing Leave-In Cream with Mango Butter and Dry Hair. Okay. My hair is dry. And, uh, I don't know if I'll be able to see if it works after this, but I mean, because that's a very small sample size. Next thing we got, <laughs> Poo-Pourri, before you go toilet spray. Some people, yeah, I, this will be, this will be great. Um, I think that's self-explanatory, so that's, I guess I'll try it out, see if it works, I, I don't know. H2O Plus Beauty. So it looks like this. I don't know if it's H2O Plus is the brand or H2O Beauty. But Oasis Ultra Hydrating Cream. Clinically, cl clinically proven to double skin moisture. They just must know that I have dry skin. Or that I, you know, especially in the winter time. Everything here is for moisture. That's great, actually. All right. I'm grabbing these two because they look like they're going to be the same brand. We've got Purology Hydrate Sh Hydrate Sheer for shampoo and conditioner, silicone free, light airy feel for fine, dry, color treated hair. I got this in an Allure box, Allure Beauty box, but my hair is not color treated, so I really don't know if I'm going to get any use out of this. Um, I might see if my mom is, I think she might have color, no, I don't think she colors it anymore. I don't know, I'll have to see. Um, but again, I don't have color treated hair, so it's not really going to do me any good. I don't think I'm not going to be able to see any difference in whether or not it holds it. Um, but in any case, that's nice that they gave you these size. I feel like this size here is like, um, probably two uses each. Next thing we got is philosophy and this is purity made simple with three in one cleanser for face and eyes. It looks like this. I guess a lot of the issue with that is we'll just see if it burns because um, I don't like anything burning in my eyes. Next thing I'm pulling out here is Women, Wo Woman by La Ralph Lauren. It's a perfume. I'm liking these perfume samples. Woody Floral is what it says. The magnetic contrast between bold timbros, tuberose and vibrant woods. They all smell similar. All these fragrances that I've gotten so far, they all smell similar and I don't hate it. I like it because at least I know I would be able to get some use out of it. Next item I'm pulling out, what's this? Oh, Origins. I've heard good things about Origins. Um, it says Plant Scription Anti-Aging Cleanser. That's probably good for one use, cleanser. Um, it says use AM and PM. No, probably AM. <laughs> Or PM again, it's probably only one use there, but anti aging, so we'll see. I don't know. I'm 27. I don't know if I'm showing signs of aging. <laughs> I have no idea. And I don't know if I would know if aging has gone away, you know, from the product. I just am not sure. Next item is here, it's um, from the brand Julep, and it's a long lasting eyeliner actually. When pencil met gel. Cool. Uh, let's see what color this is. I think this is just black. Oh, soft black. I think I can. Uh, oh, that's so creamy. Looks like that. That's really creamy. It says long lasting, so I guess we'd have to see how long it would actually last on the eyes. Next item, we've got two more, it looks like here. This item is Living Proof Restore Perfecting Spray, Conditioning Detangling Spray. Okay, cool. I've heard Kathleen Lights talking about Living Proof, and she has a couple of their items, I think, as far as, like, I think maybe they do hair only, or maybe they don't. I'm not sure. 
Um, but I want to give that a try for sure. Detangling, conditioning, detangling spray. So maybe after I get out of the shower when I'm washing it the one time, you know, each week. Next item here is Dove Refresh and Care. It's volume and fullness. It's dry shampoo. And it looks like this. Now, I don't usually use dry shampoos. Because again, like I said, my hair is curly. I don't, my hair doesn't really get greasy. Although, recently, um, straightening it. Um, I did get like a keratin type of treatment. It does get kind of greasy towards day five through seven. So I'd have to see if trying something like this would actually work, if it would feel less weighed down and more voluminous, but we'll see. And, oh wow. So the last item is Anastasia Beverly Hills, ABH. <laughs> this is the stick foundation. This is in the shade Fawn. That fawn looks like this. It looks light. I guess that's why you do the beauty preferences on the websites, huh? So they can try and get your closest shade. Oh, I like the packaging. That's why this is a high-end brand. That's nice. That's what you get. <laughs> it's so cute. It's so cute, though. It would be something I could try. Warm tan, it looks like, which is fawn. I always thought it was a cooler undertone, cooler undertone, but we'll see. Again, it's not going to hurt to try it, and um, these are all sample sizes and deluxe sizes, and we'll be able to see what works, at least for a time or two. But if you enjoyed the Ulta haul and the items that I wanted to share with you today, um, go ahead and like the video, and I hope that um, you will subscribe if you're not already. And leave a comment below and just let me know you stopped by. Um, that'd mean a lot. If there's any videos that you'd like to see, um, let me know as well because I do have some ideas rolling around. But I also want to be able to provide content that's going to be good for my channel. Um, so just let me know. Um, until next time though, I'll catch you in the next video. Bye guys.